As you guys, I'm sure, know, Pak Bom um, is the main vocalist for 21. And 21 was made of Tara, Ciel, Binzi, and Pom. Um, this is a solo comeback single that follows up her Pom release in March. And 444 was produced by Brave Brothers. It's a song about, it's a very somber, dreamy song about losing sleep over a broken relationship. Um, if you look at the lyrics, it's very, it's kind of sad, it's very retrospective, and it's uh, very, she keeps saying like, is this a dream, is this reality, that kind of thing. Um, so the video itself shows a lot of heartbreak and sadness. And apparently, Poem actually personally reached out to Huyin to ask her to feature on uh, this song and apparently she was that much of a fan that she personally reached out and I guess talent recognizes talent in that way let's talk a little bit about 21 then you know if you guys are new to k-pop you guys may not know 21 21 was one of the biggest girl groups in the world um, they did some of the coolest things for k-pop girl groups um, you know they were working with will I am the black eyed peas they were doing they had their music in like the Apple, I think it was like iPhone or iPad commercials. Like they were doing really cool things before K-pop had become such a global phenomenon like it is today. So it was always really cool to keep up with 21 and to see what interesting moves they were doing. Um, and I think a lot of that is because their sound um, won them a lot of great awards at the beginning and just throughout their career. Their first hit single was I Don't Care, which won them Song of the Year at the 2009 Mamas which made them the first record group to win a Taesong of the Year, same year as their debut. Um, they also had, you know, I think Fire was probably their debut single, um, and that was also very well received. You also have, what, Lonely, I Don't Care, I think there's like Missing You, there's Come Back Home, there's so many great songs. If you guys listen to 21 songs now, I think they're timeless, like they still sound and feel very relevant today. Poem, on the other hand, she also had her first solo single, You and I, which was number one on the Kyle Music Chart and won her best digital single at the 2010 Mamas. Um, she had You and I and a bunch of other great solo songs um, that had fans wanting a lot more. So I'd highly recommend you guys check them out. They're great songs. And um, I think one or two of them were written by a good friend of mine, Lydia Peck. Um, Lydia also wrote a lot of, I think, 21 songs and then Lehigh songs as well. Um, it, Lydia, in her own right, is a great choreographer, dancer, singer, performer, incredibly talented human. So check her stuff out as well if you guys have a chance. Um, the music video, apparently, Poems, was banned from a broadcast for violating South Korean traffic laws as she's walking in the middle of a road in a tunnel. And so apparently, uh, I also read this, that uh, Blackpink Kill This Love, that video was also banned for a traffic violation because Rose was shown doing driving without a seatbelt on. And I'm sure it was in like a studio. She's just sitting in a car. But thinking about it, I had a music video banned as well. My honestly music video was banned um, from certain stations because I was walking on an open road. And apparently that's not allowed to be shown. And we did it in like a safe way. Like we had all the rights and all the regulations and everything set up. But I guess in Korea, showing that could potentially be an issue or safety hazard or be misconstrued in certain ways. So that too was banned. Anyways, check it out. You guys can watch all this stuff on YouTube um, regardless, so be sure to check it out. And some other unknown stuff about, not unknown, maybe lesser known stuff about Poem is she actually uh, spent a lot of time in the States, middle school, high school, and college. Um, so she speaks English pretty well. I haven't spoken to her in English. I don't think I've really spoken to her much at all. Um, but if there's somebody that I would love to, to interview and, and talk to, I think she'd be really cool to, to have a conversation with because um, I feel like she's done so much in her illustrious career. So just to, to have that discussion with her would be really cool. Anyways, that is Pak Bom's 444 featuring Queen of Mama Moo. Be sure to check her stuff out. Incredibly talented. And I'm very excited to see what she has coming up in the near future for her music. Let's move on to the next